Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and in this video we're going to be talking about the properties of so we're going to be talking about the properties of the integral, right? So or the indefinite integral. Now why is it called an indefinite integral? Because uh, when you have the integral, you don't have any lower bound or you don't have any upper bound. So it's something which is completely indefinite. Right, which is why we call it an indefinite integral. So let's list down the properties. So I'm going to list down the properties here. So the first property that I will list down is that the integral of a derivative of a function dot dx is actually equal to the function itself plus c. So this is a property that we have actually learned in the previous video. So if I were to say that uh, the derivative, the the antiderivative of a derivative of a function is actually equal to 2x dot dx which is actually equal to x square plus c. So you can see from here I actually end up here again. So this is the first property that the antiderivative of the function uh, and the antiderivative of a derivative of a function is the function itself plus a constant. Right. So we don't know what that constant is. And the constant belongs to real numbers so that is again very important. The second property is that uh, the derivative of an integral is equal to the function itself, right? So here you don't need to worry about the constant. Let's say for example, I say that the derivative of a function, right, like this. So if I want to find the derivative of this function, so this is going to come down to as d over dx of, so what will be the integral of this function? That will actually be x to the power 4 plus c. Fine. So I'm actually going to remove this part here. So if I find the derivative here, which is going to be, so what is going to be the derivative here? The derivative here is going to be 4x cubed over 4 plus 0 because the derivative of a constant is 0 and 4 and 4 will go and I'll get with x cubed. So I started with the derivative of the antiderivative of x cube and I got the x cube. So that's another property which is important when it comes to integrals. The third property is that uh, the antiderivative or the integral of a constant into a function dot dx is actually equal to that particular constant into the derivative and antiderivative of the function. Let's say for example I have uh, 12x cube dot dx. Right. So if I take this 12 out, so this is going to be 12 into x cube dot dx. Right. So this is how it's going to be. Next thing is the fourth property which says that the derivative of a function plus or minus another function dot dx is actually going to be equal to the derivative of that function dot dx plus or minus, sorry, the antiderivative of that function dot dx plus or minus the antiderivative of the other function dot dx. So let's say for example, the derivative, antiderivative of uh, 2x minus 3x square dot dx is actually going to be equal to the antiderivative of 2x dot dx minus the antiderivative of 3x square dot dx. Right? So this is something which is very important. Now in the next video, we're going to be talking about the multiplication uh, and the division of functions. So we'll be talking about separately in another video. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys. And I suppose you've understood everything in it. And uh, this would be our website ad address to explore more about us. Give us your valuable like on Facebook page. And make sure that you give us your valuable feedback on this email address. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next